Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a bit of a different one. Usually you are used to me reviewing books or programs or diets or things like that, but today I am going to be reviewing a seminar which just let me just first say I've been to seminars before I have been to seminars that left me feeling motivated for a week or two um, and then I kind of just got back into life and things happened and it just kind of you know went away because it didn't well we'll get into that um, but today I'm going to be kind of re I don't want to say reviewing but I'm going to be sharing a little bit of my experience and telling you guys why you need to make it a point to go to this. I'm gonna be talking about Tony Robbins' Unleash the Power Within, commonly referred to as UPW, the seminar. It, I, speechless. It was mind blowing. It is one of those things that it is life changing. People tell you it's life changing before you go into it. I went into it a little bit anxious because I am very in tune with myself, with what I want, with what I'm afraid of, with what holds me back. Um, I make sure that I reflect on those things constantly and try to overcome them. So I, I kind of was afraid that I would go into this and not really discover anything about myself and not really, I guess, benefit from it in the way that some people do. Um, because people that go to these events are people that you know, have incredible businesses. They are hugely successful by society's definition of success, but they are unhappy. Um, something in their life is, is making them so unhappy. Or people go to these events that, you know, were sexually molested multiple times as a child or multiple or sexually molested one time as a child and they just kind of grown up with this belief that they aren't lovable or they're afraid of men or women or whatever. And this seminar kind of breaks it down for them and makes them realize that they are more than what happened to them and they can choose to live in that story or to grow from it and make a different life for themselves and so it is just i want to say first tony robbins first of all he is an incredible incredible man the things that this guy has done that he has accomplished in his life the people that he has met the people he has interviewed it is mind-blowing he is he's i always joke that he's as close to god as they come on earth so i knew going into it that it was going to be a powerful experience i just didn't know how powerful i guess i should start really quick with day one i walked on fire i walked on coals and I wish I had video of it but let's just say you aren't really writing a lot at this event you're not filming um, you're completely engulfed in what's going on and you're you're just engaged and it's that's the best way to get out of it what you're supposed to get out of it so I did not film that but I walked on coals and I did it without getting any burns on my feet um, which was powerful it is it was kind of a metaphor for life the coals were the thing that you are afraid of and in your you, you know you're letting it block everything that you want in life because it's holding you back and you walk on the fire and you've you've walked over your fear and it was just <laughs> that was insane in itself I gotta be honest I wasn't really scared of that part I don't know why I just maybe I said I told you know my family Maybe it's because I have burnt my foot really badly one time. I had I actually had a cup, a plastic cup melted to my foot. So maybe it didn't scare me because I figured it was a little burn or a few burns if I burnt my entire foot. Um, but it definitely is something that you had to be in state for. You had to be in a certain mindset. Otherwise, you wouldn't have done it correctly. You wouldn't have thought you could do it. Anyways, God, I feel like there's so much I want to say that I could just ramble on all day. Basically just telling you how incredible it was so I guess what I'm saying back to the Tony Robbins thing is he hates when he is referred to as a motivational speaker because he is not a motivational speaker yes he motivates people he motivates the hell out of them but his purpose is not to motivate somebody his purpose is to really break a person down find what their fears are find the beliefs that they you know they have within themselves find the story that they've created for themselves and that they live day to day 
based on and break all that down, rediscover what you are truly capable of, unleash the power within yourself and gives you strategies to get where you want to go. Um, so for example, I don't want to get this whole book is full of the lessons that we learned and things that we had to think about and fill out and write out, make a plan. And I don't want to get too far into it because this is a highly, highly, highly personal book. They actually encourage you not to go, well, they encourage you to go with families and your family and friends, but not to sit with each other because you do the most insane kind of, um, what do you call them? Like you do exercises with each other that some people might not want to do with a family member. They might not be comfortable. For example, maybe a woman was sexually molested as a child and it's just something she's never felt comfortable sharing with her husband. She's not going to be open and willing to completely let herself go and feel the pain and feel the power that comes with letting it go if she's next to her husband who she hasn't told this to. So, um, gosh, I keep forgetting where I was. Oh, so it's just, it's a very, very personal kind of breakdown, I will give you like my limiting belief. So one of my limited beliefs is that I cannot grow without guidance from a more successful individual. And this is something I've always kind of like told myself, if I could just sit down with this person and they could show me what I'm doing wrong, or if I could just sit down with this person, they can help me make a clear cut strategy, help me really pin down how to get from point A to point B, that I would be successful. That's all I need to get past that point that I'm at and to grow and to get more out of life. And yes, they, you are always encouraged to learn from people that are more successful than you. You are encouraged to find somebody who is where you are and learn from them, get in contact with them, try to learn everything you can from them. But I don't need somebody to sit down with me and help me on my path. They have their own path. I have my path and I am capable of success on my own, making the plan by myself. Another thing that I learned about myself at this event, I have always said, I've always told my husband, I don't care about any of this. I'm not a materialistic person. We talked about it in my Journey to Minimalism video. I'm just not somebody who is motivated by things, by you know cars or TVs or a nice house. Yes, I like having a house where my kids are settled into. Right now in life, my priority is having a house where my kids can grow up and um, bring their friends and that's that's my priority right now but I've always known that when my kids are off doing their own thing I don't want to be settled down to me being settled is not being settled in a house where I am stuck here doing the things that I do day to day anyways I don't care for any of this I don't want any of it I have it right now for my children but one day I just want to go I just I just want to travel with my husband and experience things and, and just meet people and experience cultures. And I always knew that, but in my head, I never actually saw a clear picture of what traveling looked like for me. Because traveling for me isn't like hitting up all these famous places and seeing everything I can see in that city. And um, I knew that traveling for me was, you know, experiencing the culture and eating good food and just having that time with my husband. But I discovered about myself that I would really like to travel and make a difference in someone's life over there. So I discovered that I would possibly one day, no, I don't want to say possibly, I would love to start some kind of foundation where I can help children, where I can help children who are in need of food. Um, or in need of something, but to me food is such a powerful thing that everybody needs. It's not a desire, it's not a want, it is something that people need to survive. So I never knew that about myself. I didn't know what traveling looked like for me. And the more I just visualized and thought about what I want for my life, I realized that. I don't just want to travel. I want to travel and have downtime and luxuriate and enjoy everything around, but I want to spend a day or two or three helping children. I didn't know that about myself and these are the kind of things that you pick up going to this event. All I will say is if you if you are okay living day to day, working the job that you're working, 
and you just you're okay with living life that way that's okay that's not a bad thing some people that's what they want in life but if you are somebody who is being held back by thoughts that you have or held back by experiences that you had in life that hurt you or scared you, you are held back by fears and you know that you are meant for so much more in this life and you are meant to do more and you are meant to be happy and to be in a good state, this is the event for you. Stop whatever you're doing, stop buying coffee, stop sell your car, stop making that car payment that you're making on a new car, save up the money and go to this event because I'm telling you, it is life changing. You will discover things about yourself you never knew. You will dig deeper into things that you did know and maybe you just didn't know why you got there, like how you created that belief. You will have a strategy to move forward and you will have the time of your life. I spent the entire weekend standing on chairs, dancing, hugging people, high-fiving people, screaming even though I was so sick. The entire weekend, I was so sick, I was miserable, but I snapped myself out of that state and I said, no, you're not that sick, that is your body telling you you are that sick, but you are not, you can beat that, and I had fun, I had a blast. We got to listen to Pitbull perform, that was amazing. This Just little guy was crying, so he's gonna join us in this outro, but that is really all I have to say about it. I will probably, put further details in a blog post, like actually break down the days and kind of what you go over and what you learn. Um, but if you guys have any questions, like any specific questions about the event, then please let me know and I will answer them down below. And until the next video, oh my god, you're so cuddly. I love you and I will see you later. Bye.